Welcome to the first AFC event, Boxing Edition, and it's a friendly, non-official, light contact tournament where hobbyists and amateurs can test their skills and gain new experiences. Let's get ready to rumble. Damien in black and red against Shinobi in black and blue. These are two minute rounds, two rounds. If there's a tie, there's an extra round. So I can see that uh, Shinobi has uh, more height, which gives him extra reach, which is an advantage in boxing, a big advantage. That was interesting. Damien dodged those punches. But yeah, you can already see the longer reach is going to be a problem for Damien, who is shorter. Damien has more of a square stance, while Shinobi seems to be fighting more on the side using that longer jab. From the information I see, Shinobi has more of a freestyle uh, experience, not focused on one specific style. You can see that Damien has more of a proper boxing form though. I know he trained a little bit of boxing. So yeah, when you have a guy like this that throws the longer hand and has more reach, you want to get in close, you want to get nice and tight to make them uncomfortable so that the distance does not favor them. But it's pretty neat. It's uh, clean for a guy that does not specialize in boxing, like Shinobi, he has a, quite a clean, clean style and movement. That was a good good throw there. You can see how Damien tries to slip through those punches and then go on the inside, which is what he wants to do. You want to do that when you're smaller. You want to slip through the jab and go inside and counter or cut your opponent off. But yeah, that, well, that was a good punch. When your opponent has such a long reach, if he moves around, it's not easy. It's easier said than done. That was a good round. I don't know who I would give this round to. Both of them landed a couple of nice punches. That was a good slip and then punch to the body. Yeah, that was pretty good. That's a very weird way to block. Like George Foreman, when you put your arms like that, like a crab a block. That was an interesting hand. That longer reach does give him an advantage. So Damien should, here's to round two, Damien should actually get nice and close and pressure as much as possible on the very close range so that he nullifies that longer reach. All of these guys are wearing headgear and mouth guards, of course. This is semi-contact or light contact without knockouts. So you want to score points on clean punches either to the head or body if you hit the guard that is not a point of course it's difficult sometimes to see which punches land in cleanly especially for the judges that are standing there live during the fight it's complicated sometimes to assess what went in there cleanly and what didn't so there, that's good. That's what Damien has to do. He's got to go in there, pressure, and throw combinations at the short range. That was a good slip and counter. The thing is, when you get really close, it's harder to see the technique cleanly. The longer reaching punches are easier to score for points. That was a good one. Yeah, the longer arm is giving some good points in there, again, to the body. So Shinobi gets those longer punches, which will give him some clean and clear points. Damien needs to get in there on the inside and be a little bit more dirty. It's pretty frustrating to fight a guy with a lot of reach. You gotta really get all over him, like get on top of him so that he can't use that long arm. You can tell the difference in styles here. That was a great counter there. Another good punch to the face by Damien. I don't know. This is this one is hard to call. 
I think I would call it for Damien. He put in a few good punches, counter punches there to the face. They might go for a third round. Yeah, those long arms are hard to deal with. But Damien does slip through those punches and throw throw some nice counters. Yeah, that was a good punch by Shinobi and another good punch by Shinobi. Shinobi sh switches between the orthodox and left southpaw stance. You want to do that sparingly, you don't want to do it too much actually. It's unsafe. Okay, so now I can see Shinobi is moving around more, he's trying to keep the distance, landing those longer, cleaner shots. He knows that if Damien gets in close, it's going to be very complicated for him, so he doesn't want to let him do that. He moves, that's a good foot, footwork, he moves around, he moves around, doesn't stay in the same spot. If he stays in the same spot, Damien will go in there and pressure him, and he, it'll be a very big problem for him. The difference, the main difference being, besides the reach, Damien is more comfortable using the rear hand along with the lead hand because his stance is square. Where Shinobi focuses on the lead hand, has to switch stances and use the other hand. This was very, very close. I really cannot see who won here. Let's see what the judges call. This round was really tough. For me, it was really close. Because of the height difference and the reach, Shinobi might have pulled it. Yeah, Shinobi got some cleaner punches. That was a good match.